Hi everyone and welcome to Crafty Kits. Um, today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial um, just to get you started on your punch needle design. Um, more than likely you've bought one of our kits. Um, it may be this one here or it may be a different one um, but the methods will be basically the same. Um, then if there's any slight little differences in respect to the way you are to do things that will probably be um, made quite clear in your kit instructions. Uh, however it should all be fairly similar. Firstly with your kit you will get this um, wonderful pre-printed and also stabilized um, punch needle fabric. So I've gone ahead already and popped this into the non-slip embroidery hoop that will also be included in your kit. Um, it's really important that we use a non-slip hoop. As you can see this one here has got a Phillips head um, screwdriver tightener here. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and put your embroidery into your hoop and give that a really good tighten with a Phillips head screwdriver. It's really important when we're doing punch needle that um, the surface is nice and taut and that it stays that way. If it's not really tight, uh, you're going to find that this will continue to slip and bag and become loose and you'll be constantly trying to tighten it while you're working, um, which can come a little bit frustrating. So it's a good idea to get that really nice and tight before we work. Now in your kit you also have um, this Lavore punch here um, and you'll find that this comes with three different needle sizes. For this embroidery here we are using the finest needle that comes in your pack. Um, this one here is perfect for six strands of um, stranded cotton or embroidery floss whatever you'd like to call it which is what we're going to be working with uh, for this design here. You also have those other punches available to you um, if you're wanting to try doing some punch needle with something heavier, some sort of uh, yarn, then you can go ahead and play with those as well. But for this um, kit, we are using this fine needle. Uh, what we first need to do is prepare our thread to start working. Now I like to work from the centre out as much as possible. So for this design I'm actually going to start on this central point here of our elephant's ear leaf which is um, out of the nice dark pink colour. So I've already taken the little um, paper straps off this skein of thread and I'm just making sure it keeps nice and open and loose. So what you want to do is you're not going to cut any thread as you're working with punch needle. You're just going to use um, the end and you want to keep the remaining um, skein loose and easy. If you find that your punch needles aren't working at any time it is probably because there is not free loose thread and um, something is going wrong. So if you ever find that your punch um, stitches are not working anymore just double check your skein make sure um, the thread is you know very easily uh, moving out of that skein and that nothing's catching there at all. So I've got the end here of my six strands of embroidery floss and what we're going to do for starters is to actually thread our punch needle. So with your punch needle you will have received also this little um, wire threader Okay, this just helps you to thread your punch needle each time you change your colour. So what we're going to do first is um, with the closed end of this wire, we're going to place it through our needle of our punch okay, and just push it through. So once that end has come through, and we'll see it here, um, we just want to kind of make sure there's a section that's a little bit open, like you can see that bit there, and we just want to slide our thread through that crack. Okay, so we've got that thread through. It's going to pull through a nice section, so we've got a nice little tail there, and then just pull it up to the end so that you know it's nice and tight um, in there and it's held nicely. So then what we're going to do is take that uh, end here. We're just going to pull it through so it comes through the wood and up through your needle. Once we're there, we also want to uh, thread this through this hole Hopefully you can see that hole there. So what I'm going to just do is while that's still sitting there within the thread, I'm going to push this through the hole. Okay. And now that's all the way through. So you'll see it's running through the wooden handle, through the needle, and then out through that hole. Okay, so now this is ready to work with. So I'm going to put these skeins out of the way and just keep this one here so we're working nicely with that. Okay, so with our work, what we're wanting to do is to make sure that that open end 
So not the area where the thread's coming through, but this nice open oval end here. We're always moving in that direction as we punch. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start at whatever our chosen starting point is. I'm just going to start right here. And we put the punch. I'm going to start on that line. We push it until it goes all the way through. Now for this uh, work, I'm actually going to be keeping the, the front as which the front, which is kind of really the reverse of your punch needle, is going to be what I'm presenting. So what I'm going to do now is while this is here, I'm going to turn it over and I'm just going to pull that loose end of the thread so that my starting section is actually on the wrong side of my completed work. Once you've done that, you can actually just pull it through a bit so you don't have this long tail. Okay, I'm going to turn it back over to my front. So now we're going to start doing our um, punch embroidery. So what you want to do, so now I'm hoping you can see it here. So that side that has the big oval hole, you're going to pull out, you're going to slide along a small section and punch in again. I'm going to come out, slide, punch. Out, slide, punch. Out, slide, punch. Out, slide, punch. Okay, and I'm hoping you're seeing that. And you'll see that that's making those lovely small stitches there. Now it's up to you how small you go with these, okay? Um, that's just or totally a matter of preference. You can go longer than that, um, just totally up to you. And I just want to show you what this is doing on the, the other side. So you'll see how on the other side you're actually getting these little loops. Um, so if you were wanting to present this side, eventually once it's all filled in, that's going to become like a little bit of a rug on this side. And some people uh, like that traditionally is the side that you would use if you punch a needle for displaying. Um, but the trend at the moment is to use this reverse side. Um, and I really like that. And that's what I'm going to be doing for this um, embroidery. So what I like to do is just to move around my um, hoop as I'm working. I like to go in the direction that I'm going. And I hope that you can still see here that I'm just dragging a little bit, punching, dragging, punching, dragging, punching, dragging, punching, dragging, punching, dragging, punching, dragging, punching. Okay, so what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to go around the first row and I'll come back in a moment when I have finished that first row. Okay, so as you can see here, I've now gone all the way around the outside edge of that uh, shape that I'm filling in. So now I'm just going to show you what you continue to do. So once you've done the outside edge, we're just going to fill this whole area in uh, with, with punch stitches. So what you're just going to do is, is keep going, but on the inside there. Um, and what you try and do is actually go between those stitches as much as you can. So you don't want your stitches to be in line with each other. You kind of want these stitches to stagger in between your other stitches. And you're just going to keep doing the same thing. As you can see in this section, we only really need that one extra line of stitches to fill it in because um, it's actually quite a thin area. And I just like to continue on and follow the shape just slightly inside from it. I'm hoping you can see here what I'm doing. Um, and we're just going to keep going in. Now you'll notice that with this shape, um, by the time I get up there, I'm probably going to end up doing another line because I need to get back down to the rest of my shape. Now you'll see there, I've got one, um, you probably hopefully can see there, I've got one that didn't work very well. And this is what I want to show you um, about how forgiving that punch needle is. So what I can actually do is I can pull out my thread and I can just pull back those last few stitches. See, that was the yucky one that I didn't like. Um, and it's just so forgiving punch needle. As long as you don't pull too tightly, you can just pull your thread back to that starting position. Um, and then, sorry, I'm just pulling the thread a bit tighter. And then keep working. So now I don't have that yucky stitch there anymore. But a much better one and I can continue to work in. Okay, I'm going to turn around and I'm just going to keep going in between these stitches. One more row. Sometimes it does get a little bit tight as you'll see here um, but as long as you're going between your stitches as long as you're not catching your threads you're going to see that that just comes out really lovely. 
Now we're going to go up this little arm. Obviously this is the sort of tightest part, these middle sections of the plant. So they're probably actually the most difficult, um, especially if you don't want to catch between the strands. Now you'll see now that I have finished that section and that section. So I just want to show you from the back, the punch needle side, you'll see that that's creating like, I don't know, like a little bit of a rug. Um, once all your colours fill in and that gets all nicely condensed down, it actually is, is quite a nice look. Um, and I'll be sure to take a photo of this one at the end so you can see that backstage. Um, but yeah, so you can use that as your presentation side. Um, for this one, as you've probably seen on the photograph of this work, this is the side that I'm actually using. Um, so yeah, basically you're just going to continue to move around and fill in that space. Um, when you have finished that one, you're just going to do the exact same thing. Thread your next colour, um, that lighter pink, and start working around that shape. Now it's really important to just keep being careful that you're not pulling any threads um, as you work. That said, if you do happen to um, ruin a little area or uh, have a little bit of area that needs a little bit more filling, you can still do that later. That's the beauty of punch needle. So if a little get, bit gets unstitched, just pull those ends through to the side that you're not presenting um, and then you can go back and fill in any areas. It's just a matter of um, re-threading your punch needle and then starting again through any of those spaces that aren't filled up. Again, as I mentioned, keep making sure that your thread is nice and free. Don't get it caught up on your arms. Don't get it caught up on anything else. If you see a knot coming or any tangles coming, um, undo those uh, so that the thread will continue to flow um, nicely through your punch needle.